last song, and, and again, just if I, if I haven't remembered who to thank you, it's because I forget everything, you know? That's why I forget everything. I got, I, but I really, this was cool. I want to thank really my, my students for, you know, allowing me to like, well, first of all, every song I played tonight basically broke every rule I ever taught you in, in <laughs> class. That's the first thing. You figured that out already, right? But I want to thank my students for actually really kind of like forcing me to really do something that I have not done in my entire career, which is really examine these like fundamental things that songwriters take for granted. Like I literally went to some people like in the last two weeks, some educators and some musicians, and I told them what we were talking about in my class, and they were like, really? Like yeah. we've actually never talked about those things in a songwriting class. Like I've never thought about the things that my students have made me think about and made me create language to describe, and I'm still dealing with it. So I just want to thank all of them for being aware and conscious and all fantastic artists. And um, thank you, folks, for being cool. You know, and, and for 69, to three. Okay, this last song is like, okay, so like, you know, you're walking to church with your grandma and it's Sunday, right? So think about some mad bum on the corner singing. Hey, Grandma, look at his crazy eyes. She said, you better wish that man a good Sunday morning. He might be Jesus in disguise. He's singing this African blue note. Well, Grandma, it sounds like rock and roll. Halloween. It is Halloween, and maybe you all got it out of your system the other night at your party, but um, it is the one day of the, of the year that you could be somebody other than who you are every other day of the year, and the society won't judge you for it, right? And yeah. what did you choose to do? You wore jeans. <laughs> But there's a lot of fighting in it, and there's a lot of, like, there's disagreement, but there's also a lot of really great stuff that can come of um, that. I think I'm a pretty good collaborator. I try to be. I mean, because that's my, my goal. My goal is to be a good collaborator. And I'm very uh, clear about my intentions, and my intentions are never, hopefully, I try, you know, we always got to check ourselves, too, as artists. Try not to make it about me, but it's about what we're trying to do and what the project piece is trying to do. You don't care who you are, it's what you do. So I took this great music I had that I wrote with Stu that was about a gay black man who was trying to make his voice heard politically. And after two years of working with the Obamas, I thought, oh, I already have the show. And you know, I think we actually need more tools to understand the way in which the past impacts the present in order to then understand new ideas for moving forward. I'm not a fan of um, just saying the past is disconnected, but I'm also, I, I would refuse the idea that you, you can't transform and build and grow. Because I like being around young people, I like being around college age people because they had this sort of an intellectual curiosity that I found missing in older people. So I thought, well, I'll just always be at universities and I'll be uh, an art teacher, so I'll meet all the cool kids. Black friends. Angela and I went to white schools and we didn't have any 
problems. You missed! I knew this man. And when he died, he took a taxi through his old life. And he thought, is this what intimidated me? Is this what held me back?